Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to deploy a Bitscap automated grid bot trading the GRT or the graph token while accumulating profit in Bitcoin. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, they are a trading platform that I have been utilizing primarily for their grid bot feature, which is their trading bot. But I've also really started using their trading terminal. And in the near future, I will have a video on their trading terminal utilizing Binance Futures Exchange and the powerful features that that trading terminal brings with it. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that future video. I also have a video in my playlist on their crypto arbitrage feature. And if you take a look at my Bitscap playlist, you'll find that video on the arbitrage. Now, with that all being said, you can get started with an investment of just $19 a month, and that'll give you all their standard trading features, unlimited exchanges, and they have just about every exchange covered. In addition to, you will get two active trading bots. And if you want to get started for free, if you click on the link down in my description, that'll get you 14 days free, and you can actually test out the platform for $0. So let's get to actually configuring and then deploying this bot. So from the Bitscap dashboard across the top, you'll see your menu options. You'll want to click on bots that will land you on the grid bot configuration panel. Now from here, you'll need to select your exchange. And in this case, we'll be using Binance as the exchange. And so in order to connect to your Binance exchange, you'll need to go to my exchanges and you'll need to add a new exchange. And from that list of exchanges, you would select Binance. In this case, I'm just gonna select Binance US, even though we're technically gonna be using Binance, not Binance US. From there, you'll need to connect your API keys from Binance. And to do that, you would just go to Binance under your user icon, go to API management, and then from the API management page, you'll need to label your API, click create API. It will then want to verify you want to create a new API. So it will email you a code, send you a Google verification, you hit submit, and then you will end up with a new API key and secret key. Now the secret key is blocked out. Obviously you want to keep that top secret. Uh, and then from there, you just basically copy and paste your API keys and hit connect. And once you hit connect, you will see your new exchange and it will confirm if you did it correctly that you are actually connected. If your API keys are not any good, you won't actually be connected. So now that we have our API keys for Binance connected, we jump back over to the bots panel and now we're ready to configure the bot on our exchange. And when you do your drop down, it will show you your list of your exchanges, or you can do new exchanges. You just need to add one of the new exchanges. In this case, it's Binance. I click on Binance. And then the pair that I want the bot to actually execute trades on is gonna be GRT, which stands for the Graph Network. They are one of my long range targets for 2021 and going forward into the future. And I will be releasing a list of my sniper targets for 2021 and into the future very soon here on YouTube. So again, shoot that subscribe button if you don't want to miss my sniper target tokens for the future. Let's get to actually configuring this bot. Now, the first thing I need to do is to determine where to set up my grid for this grid bot. Over the last seven days, the graph token has really started to move sideways and Partially that's due to it getting listed recently on Binance and Coinbase. So it saw its typical spike up and then it's sell off. And that's typical of when it gets listed on the new exchanges. And with that being said, you're going to want to have a stop loss in place, which is a feature of the Bitscap grid bot is this stop loss feature. So with my grid bot, I'm looking at pretty much these last seven days where we see it trading in this range and so I'll draw in the range that I'm actually tart looking at is pretty much the top of this spike here and the bottom down here now that's real rough 
And what I'm looking at is I see that we top out and when this starts to sell off and tries to recover, it gets rejected and then truly sells off to come back and get rejected again and sell off once again. Right now I have this set up on the Binance Exchange, GRT, USDT. And from there I can see this range, but I don't wanna get paid my profit in USDT. I actually wanna get my profit paid in BTC or Bitcoin. And so if I switch my pair from GRT USD to GRT BTC, I will again see a very similar range. So if we drop in our lines again at the top and at the bottom, the bottom actually now is over here over the last seven days. Now, if we take a look at resistance and support that I have dropped in here, we can see that we're getting resistance during the last seven days up around this yellow line. It gets rejected, comes back up into that area, gets rejected and sells off. We do find support down along this yellow line and that's trading against the quote currency of BTC. And, and so now I need to really dial in my grid now that I kind of have a range that it looks like GRT is going to be trading in. I've got a couple different ways I can do it. I can either set up my upper price by inputting the actual level that I drew in. That would then drop my upper price, you see, into this range where we saw resistance. Then on my lower range, again, I could type that in or I could simply drag the lower range up to the support level. Now with the price right around this lower level, I actually wanna give it a little room to move. And if I lower this lower price level, you will see a lot more green bars. And what these grid levels actually represent as the price goes up, it will sell and take profit. And the key there is it's actually gonna take profit in your quote currency or in this case, BTC. And when it goes down and hits these green grids, it will buy GRT and it will use your BTC to buy those GRT tokens. And with this lower price being dropped below my support line, you can see there's more grid bars in there and therefore my grid spacing went from 1% to almost 2%. Now if I move this up a little, you'll see it affects my grid spacing. I still have 40 grids, the majority of them are on the buy side since I have my buy side so high. Now, another nice feature that BitScap's GridBot offers is the trailing up feature. And what that basically means, if this price were to move above the grid, it would follow the price action up and adjust your grid accordingly. And so if you toggle the switch over here, it turns your trailing on. And so now it will follow the price action up. So I can actually decrease perhaps my upper price limit into this range where we actually see some resistance more recently. And now what that has done has made my grid spacing go from that 0.7% to 0.99%. So now I have still have the 40 grids and now they're actually starting to balance out. And remember these yellow lines are just my resistance and support levels. They're not part of the grid whatsoever. They're just there for my eye to see support and resistance. Now I really wanted to find my lower level and I'm going to take out this support line I drew in and I'm going to move this up. And in doing so, I now have, again, decreased my grid spacing to 0.78%. I still wanna put it in a stop loss. And so now we've got the stop loss set in just under my lower price range. And so if the price action really breaks down and breaks through this stop loss level, it will give me an opportunity to regroup and look at possibly configuring a new grid. But the last thing you want this to do is something like we've seen with XRP, where it just crashes 65% and you're stuck in it. So with that all being said, I now have my stop loss deployed. I have my lower limit in place. I have my upper limit in place. I'm using the trailing up feature to 
follow this price action up if it were to go above the upper price limit. At this point, I'm pretty much ready to deploy the bot. However, I could add a take profit feature and base that on a percentage, say 5%, 10%. However, in this case, this is a long-term target for me. So I'm not looking to actually exit this bot. My theory is this price action will continue to move up and I'm looking to accumulate either GRT tokens or worst case it becomes range bound and I increase my BTC tokens being my quote currency. Either way, I'm winning the battle as far as I'm concerned. Now, the last thing to do is the back test. So now I can go to the back test and it will perform a back test. It's not going to have a lot of data to go on, seeming how this token is fairly new to the exchanges. But you can see the results. It'd be up 212%. And before I actually deploy the bot, the last thing I want to do is adjust the amount of BTC that the bot has access to and reduce the amount. Now, once that box turns red, I don't have enough BTC available for the bot. So I'm going to give it right around 30%. Now, the bot will have 30% of my total BTC holdings, and that will actually be enough BTC to execute these trades. It will need a certain amount of BTC in order to buy GRT tokens for the moves up to sell off. And then it will also need a certain portion of BTC in reserve to execute the buys on the way down. So with that all balanced out, I'm ready to deploy this bot. I hit start. And it notes to start the bot as necessary, it has to buy 636 GRT. And I do want it to go ahead and do that. And it placed the market order. It was filled. I now have an active bot. And the grid is starting to fill in. And you can see that very first trade is that initial buy. And that was the initial buy of the 636 GRT tokens. And just like that, I have GRT tokens, which I'm happy to hold for the long range, or I'm happy to make profit on as this bounces in this range. So with that all being said, I'll be doing an update video on this bot in the very near future. So if you haven't already, now is the time to shoot that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. I will leave a link to Bitscap and the 14 free day trial in the description down below. And remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.